Welcome back to Strathbury Rockets Hockey, live on 105.7 My FM. We're scoreless after one period of play from the Vollmer Community Center, joined by a brand new gentleman here with the LaSalle Vipers, uh, Mr. Tom Kirby. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it, sir. I'm uh, just going to adjust your mic here a little bit. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, basically, uh, I'm, a, I'm a LaSalle native. I've been in, uh, involved with hockey for several years with my kids. Um, back four years ago, I, well, actually six, seven years ago, I started scouting for the Tecumseh Chiefs. Uh, and I spent the one year as a scout, as a head scout here with the LaSalle Vipers. From there, I moved on to the Kingsville Comets. I was a general manager there for three years, four years, and uh, I was uh, asked if I'd be interested in the LaSalle Viper job this year as a general manager, and I was excited to get that position. Uh, Obviously, it's tough shoes to fill when you talk about McIntosh. Kevin McIntosh is, to me, a legend to junior hockey in this area. He's been around a long time, and uh, unfortunately, because of his health, he had to uh, move aside a little bit. But uh, he was a great guy. I still talk to him, and I uh, like when he was a general manager, I was a head scout for the Comfy Chiefs and Osal Viper. So. Yeah, just to refresh our listeners, Kevin McIntosh, uh, years as the GM here, but uh, obviously, as you heard Tom just say, medical reasons, and Tom uh, takes over. Was there any doubt in your mind when you were approached? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's something new. I mean, when you start a new job, you're nervous, and uh, uh, being part of it as a scout, you understood a little bit of how the level of hockey was, but it, it was something where you, you jumped in in August. I mean, you're middle of August, end of August, you're jumping in this position, and a lot of things that had to be done, you usually do it during the summer months. So it's it started to calm down a little bit, but it's, it's great to be part of this. I mean, it's a great organization, and uh, it's a great league. Yeah, you must have known exactly where I was going with that because I was going to ask you when you started, and you did start mid-August. So how much behind the eight ball are you as a GM when you start mid-August? Well, Ryan Donnelly, uh, they did something different last year. They started their main camp usually last year in uh, March, March or April they started that. So they started cutting people down, and they skated during the summer months. So when I came that in in eight, August, a lot of the team was already chosen. Uh, there were still some other guys we wanted to look at. We we're waiting to see what happened to the OHL camp, etc. But uh, yeah, it was uh, mostly behind the scenes. I mean, Ryan had did a good job. He pretty well had everything in place, and we just kind of put a few more pieces together with the puzzle. But more of it was just the off ice activities that need to be taken care of. How much input uh, did you have? Uh, did you like the philosophy of the organization or the hockey club uh, moving into this season, or did you want to put a little spin on it? No, I mean, you're only two, three years off the Sutherland Cup. I mean, uh, there's a lot of kids still here that are young at that time, and they've now become our vets. Um, so they know the work ethic. Uh, Ryan Donnelly and our coaching staff, they're, they're experienced. They've been in the pro level. They've uh, coached and also played in the pros. So the, the kids are real excited to see that. So when you walk in and you have people like that taking care of things behind the bench and on the ice, it, it makes it a little easier for you. Talk to us a little bit about this year's edition of the Vipers. Uh, we're going to be a hard-working team. Uh, we really don't have that true sniper type guy who can score goals for us. To win hockey games, we're going to have to show up 60 minutes. And everyone's going to have to give. All four lines are going to have to give give 100% because, uh, like I said, we're going to have to work hard for every win we get. Uh, Dave, Dave was mentioning in the opening period you did lose uh, Spears and you uh, lost to Baudouin, uh, but you still retained uh, quite a few of your scoring. Did that change the way the team was going to be built at all times? No, I think, like you said, we met Matt Bowdoin and Brian Spears. He was, like you said, you talk about a sniper, there's a sniper. Brian, Brian Spears is a sniper, and Matty Bowdoin was the captain of the hockey team. So you lost a little bit a little bit of experience. You lost that uh, that captain, and uh, you got guys like Denemy and Segan, like you said. That it's their time. I mean, it's their time to, uh, to to pick it up. And I think once we get, uh, I think we got eight or nine, ten rookies, and also rookie coaching staff, but um, they all got to get to know each other. And I think once that happens, I think it's, things are going to work out very well for us. Uh, you'd have to be a stranger to the GOJHL to not uh, realize LaSalle Vipers organization is a successful one. Your thoughts on being part of it? Oh, like I say, I'm excited. I mean, uh, it took me a little bit to, to it took me a little bit to take a position, but it wasn't because of that. It was just that the, when you're a general manager for another team, it was hard to break away. But to be part of the LaSalle Vipers, like you said, Chris, it's a great organization, and it just it's it's just fantastic to be a LaSalle native and be part of this the team that you live with in the in the town that you live in. So it's it's just it's just great. Ready to take a trip to Strathroy this weekend? Oh yeah, home opener, you guys, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. We'll see you Saturday. Good luck the rest of the way this year. Thank you. Tom Kirby, GM of the uh, LaSalle Vipers. Stay with us after the break. Our period summary and our out-of-town scoreboard. It's 0-0 here from LaSalle on 105.7 My FM. Awesome. Center ice, and we'll get this second period.